You're not suggesting, are you, that you have any difficulty in publishing your books? No, but okay. I do have difficulty in getting them reviewed. Uh, not, not Birds of America, but I think, and uh, maybe I'm because uh, of what? Well, this is very mysterious. Uh, my book on Vietnam got perhaps ten reviews in the entire United States, uh, and my publisher was absolutely thunderstruck. It was not, uh, it'd be easier to say where it wasn't reviewed than where it was, and. Uh, to the point that people writing in, you know, for biographical information for, uh, you know, these compilations mm -hmm. of writers, this and that, uh, would always stop my books uh, with the group. And I'd, I'll, you know, write back and say, these titles exist. Uh, they're quite unaware of it, that the, the very fact these books existed was not known. Uh, it's, it is a mystery. Uh, and, of course, it's, it's nice to be able to get your books published anyway. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, it's, a, it's a strange business. Well, uh, but I, I think, though, you have said four or five times that you don't know. You nevertheless obviously intended to leave no, the I impression didn't. that it's because your book was so much opposed to American policy. No, I didn't. <laughs> I well, well, then how is it relevant in any way uh, to, to, to a conversation does... that began by asking whether or not you were satisfied with the freedom to publish in a Well, uh, I think the freedom to publish uh, is not uh, just a thing by itself. There ought to be some uh, possibility of the fact of publications becoming known. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't you think so? Oh, I certainly do. Oh. I certainly do. But I, I think that, uh, 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 well, war, war just in the Washington Post reviewing was one, one of these the books. Few, yeah, yes. he said, one hardly knows how to deal with this book so transparent of the biases, so evident the intention to color Hanoi white and Washington black. Mm -hmm. Now, could it be... He's sort of a square. Uh, oh. Yeah, uh, yeah. I thought you'd, you'd have something oh. appropriate to say about it. <clears throat> but uh, could, could, it be that, uh, um, could it be that some editors reviewing this book thought it so, so um, blind... Uh, why and, didn't and, they and so un me? so undiscriminate. Well, why didn't they review Robert Welsh's book on Eisenhower? Uh, didn't they? No. Not at all? <laughs> Not at all. Well, there's another mystery. Yeah. Can you explain that? <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, explain it. <laughs> well, they thought it was preposterous. Uh -huh. <laughs> they thought uh -huh. it was preposterous. Mm -hmm. That's right. Uh, no, the re few reviews I got were from people uh, like the new leader, that is, old cold warriors, um, who still thought it worthwhile, uh, you know, uh, attacking me and saying all that type of thing. Not that the war just is an old cold warrior. He's not. Uh, but those uh, those people still thought it was worthwhile. I don't know, and uh, I don't think those books are bad. I think. Uh, well, I think you, all of your books should be reviewed uh, ex officio myself, uh, and um, uh, uh, this is simply because it's it's interesting enough if you write a bad book. 